Global solid waste generation could rise from the current 17 billion tons to 27 billion tons annually by 2050. Ad hoc landfill and dam site practices linked to urbanization and land scarcity have made waste treatment and disposal an uncomfortable topic in Ghana. Current waste treatment and disposal practices pose a major threat to the health of current and future generations. Introducing Kumasi Compost and Recycling Plant, KCAP, a mega-scale municipal solid waste treatment plant set up to receive and treat municipal solid waste from the Kumasi Metropolis and adjoining district assemblies. KCAP at Esreso Adeja in the Bosom Tree District of the Ashanti region can receive and process 1,200 tons of municipal solid waste daily. This takes care of waste generated by the entire city and adjoining communities. Among the facilities on site are the sorting plants. Here, mixed waste is separated into the constituent materials, organics, plastics, metals, textiles, paper, glass, and others. The sorted waste are then channeled to the various recycling points for the different materials. Compost tunnels ensure that sorted organic matter are converted into compost under controlled conditions of moisture content, temperature, and air quality. Compost samples are taken through rigorous laboratory analysis to ensure products are of high quality and meet the needs of end users. Matured compost is bagged on site. This compost is excellent organic fertilizer for agriculture and horticulture. KCAP can produce 3,000 bags of finished 50 kg compost daily. The sorted inorganic matter Plastics, metals, textiles, paper and glass, among others, are semi-processed on-site. At the Plastics Recycling Centre, the plastics undergo washing, shredding, extrusion and pelletizing. The pellets are bagged and sold to plastics product manufacturers as raw material. Metals and paper are also further sorted by type and built for customers in the metals and paper industries respectively. The residual waste not currently needed is sent to the engineered residual landfill on site. The plant, with an impressive recovery efficiency of about 90%, ensures that waste that would have ended up at dump sites and landfills are recovered and recycled for use. Materials recovery greatly reduces the burden on landfills and prolongs landfill lifespan. This means that 90% of land that would have been used for landfilling is saved. There are plans to convert even the residual waste to energy. Arrangements are being made for electronic waste and medical waste treatment facilities in the next phase of development. Improved sanitation, job creation, land preservation, reduction of greenhouse gases, compost production for agriculture, recycling of plastics, metals and paper, and many more interventions by the Kumasi Compost and Recycling Plants Limited will help make a better garden.